Hello, my name is Nate, and uh, I'm I'm professionally I'm I'm agronomist and uh, economist, but my big hobby are orchids. Uh, why orchids? Orchids are so rare and so <clears throat> special that they took my attention when I was studying uh, agronomy in Ljubljana. And at first, well, they were just special, but after a couple of years, when I was riding my bike and I was looking on both sides of the of the road and I saw a lot of orchids in Belakrana and I said, well, maybe I should try to, to, to find as many orchids as possible. And uh, in uh, seven years I found 30, 34, 35 or different uh, species of orchid and uh, this one, uh, Himantoglossum adriaticum, I think in English it is called um, lizard orchid or something like that but Himantoglossum adriaticum is the original name this is very special because uh, this orchid is primarily growing in uh, in Adriatic coast but uh, in Slovenia we also have couple not Adriatic Adriatic um, not Adriatic um, habitats and one he, one is here in Bela Krajina and another is in uh, Haloze close to Maribor or Celje. Um, so this orchid is very very rare. It's protected and uh, where it where, where this orchid is growing, there is a Natura uh, 2000 uh, area. Unfortunately, right here it's not. It's on the other side of the road. Um, what else can I say about this orchid? Well, it's a typical, typical, a typical orchid. Well, or, or, all orchids are typical because um, every orchid has six flower leaves. Uh, this first one is labellum, inner, inner, and the two inner leaves are inside, and there are three outer flower leaves. So every every orchid flower has six flower leaves. Uh, three inside and four outside. Uh, the function of this labellum is for the pollinator to come to the flower and to try to try to to take uh, nectar. But a, a lot of orchids don't have uh, don't have um, nectar, so the pollinator is um, a kind of screwed. <laughs> so when he comes inside, the pollinia is glued to his head, and um, after that. He's going to another another flower, and he get and he puts this polinia into another flower, and th th that way the the orchid is um, pollinated. Well, this is another very special orchid. It's not so rare, but it's very special because uh, it doesn't have nectar, and it doesn't mimicry the other flowers. It doesn't uh, look like other flowers. It's uh, it's very special because on a flower, this flower uh, has a has some uh, glands that um, that um, produce that produce um, pheromones, and uh, these pheromones attract just male male wasps. And uh, when male male wasps come to to this flower, they think that this flower is a uh, uh, female. So they they, tr they try to have a sex on this flower. And uh, by the way, they got that famous polinia on their head on their head and then they go to other flower for other sex and th that way they they uh, pollinate the flowers uh, it is from the it is from the from the uh, from the genus um, ophris it's called it's called um, bee orchid and all all uh, all these ophris genus uh, they have the same mechanism of pollinating they they uh, produce pheromones, and in Bela Krajina we also find um, uh, one earlier species of um, of this Ophris Ophris um, uh, Ophris genus, and it's called Ophris fegodes. But it's too late for them. Maybe two and a half months earlier we could find that that uh, that orchid. Look here is uh, another very special orchid. It's also a kind of a thermophile. But uh, this is not why it's so special. It's special because it's a parasite. You, you can see there, there are, it, it's not full parasite, but it, it gets some, uh, some, some food from the, from the fungus in, in, the, in the soil. And this fungus gets the, the, the food from this big tree. So <laughs> this orchid <laughs> gets a lot of food from this tree. 
it doesn't have the uh, the green leaf, so it doesn't have a um, doesn't have a chlorophyll. So all the food comes from there. And you can see this orchid is almost out of the flowering. There, there are seeds inside. It, it, uh, there are some seeds, and there is also one also one opened um, flower. And it's typical orchid flower. Uh, six six leaves, six flower leaves, three outside and three inside. And the end labellum, this this airport for the pollinator. And and you can see there are some other some other this Limodorum abortivum. Uh, well, it's one of the biggest one of the biggest uh, sites I saw in Bela Kraina. Here is another orchid. It's called bug orchid or Orchis coriophora. Uh, the name comes from uh, from the the. The, the characteristic of this orchid, if you smell it, then it's, it smells uh, like one, one bug. Um, here, here around uh, Belchivar, there are one of the biggest, the biggest habitats of this orchid in Slovenia. My colleagues from, the, from the Ljubljana, when they come to this, to this grassland, they are, they are amazed. They never, see, in Slovenia, they, they, they don't see so much these orchids in one, at one place. So this grassland is special because of these orchids, Coriophora. Uh, this grassland, as you see, these grasslands are very dry. And there are some aspects of uh, Mediterranean climate. So these grasslands, if you see, they are dry. And uh, in a, in a, early in the spring, there, is, there are some uh, other species, also very beautiful, Orchis morio, Orchis tridentata, uh, and even maybe some on, 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 on that side, even some, um, some Ophris, Ophris fegodes. We can find some Ophris fegodes there. Um, now we'll walk to, to the, to the Belchi Vrch marshes, marshes, and uh, you will see that uh, orchids also, grown, also, uh, also grow on, on a marsh, in marshes, and they are different. And uh, we'll see. Let's go to the marshes.